Hi all, in this video we are going to see how we can build a data flow job using a SQL queries. So we are going to use a BigQuery for this demo and we will be writing a queries on BigQuery table for our data flow job. So let's uh, go to BigQuery first and see what are the tables available for our use. So I will go to BigQuery and I will see the tables available here or the data sets available in my BigQuery. So here I have a dev data set and inside dev data set I have a sales table. So let me query this table and see the data inside uh, this table. So I'll just query this table and see the data. So I'm having a total 100 rows uh, in this table. So in this sales table I am having the data of multiple region and a multiple sales transaction. So suppose I have a requirement where I need to create another table only for a Europe region. So let's see how many records are there for a Europe region. So I'll use a where clause where region is equal to Europe. So I'll run this. Okay, I have a 22 records for this query. Now I want to create a data flow job using this same query. So just one point here. So in the legacy BigQuery UI, there is a direct option from the BigQuery to go to a data flow or like a create or run a query using a data flow engine. So this option is not available in the new UI. So let me show that for your knowledge. So I'll just go to my old BigQuery UI. To show you that option from where uh, we are directly using a data flow engine to run our query so i'll just copy paste the same query and here i have option in query setting to run a query using a cloud data flow engine so from here we are able to create a data flow job but now we are directly launching into data flow sql editor but when you go to new ui means like when we enable the editor tabs this option is not available anymore so if you have this query and i'll go to query setting this data flow option is not available here so don't get confused if you want to use a data flow for a big query just go to a data flow page and use a SQL workspace to create your data flow job using SQL queries. So I'll go to data flow uh, let me select my the project where I have my BigQuery table it is data my service project dev so let me go to okay so here go to sql workspace okay now here you have to be careful about the syntax you will be using in your sql workspace or like data flow sql editor if you paste the same query here it will not identify your table and it will throw an error so here you could see this is because uh, your data flow SQL editor not able to identify is this table belongs to BigQuery or a Cloud SQL or a Big Table or any Google Cloud service. So we have to use a different kind of syntax here. So let's see how we can use that syntax. So the best way is always use this data catalog API. From here you just type your dataset name dot a table. So I have a dataset dev inside we have table called sales so I will just type dev dot sales here and enter from here I'll just paste a resource ID or like copy a resource ID and I'll write a query select star from and I'll paste the resource ID I copied and so this is the syntax we are going to use so now you could see this error is gone and our query is valid yes so this is a valid query now I want to use a filter for Europe region where region is equal to
यूरोप ओके सो लेट सी इफ वी आर नॉट मेकिंग एनी स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक विल जस्ट कॉपी वेर इज दिस इज अ स्ट्रिंग सो वी हैव टू गिव द एग्जैक्ट नेम ओके सो दिस इज अवर अ वैलिड क्वेरी लेट्स क्रिएट अ जॉब नाउ Uh, so for this demo i am going to create one service account to be used for a data flow so we need a service account because uh, the data flow engine will interact with a big query it will read the data from big query and it will write data in big query table so we'll be creating one service account and we'll be giving the necessary permissions to interact with the big query so let me first choose the region i'll choose as the us central one and here in show optional parameter we have to mention the service account network sub network so network and sub network i will be keeping as a default only if we are not giving anything here it will use as a default network so let me go and create a service account uh, for our data flow so we'll go to i am and a service account so i'll go to service account i'll create a new service account i'll create new service account i'll give the name as a data flow sa means like a service account i'll select the role for my service account i'll be purposefully choosing a editor role so it can interact to all the gcp services in my project and i'll continue so rest everything i'll keep as it is and i'll click on done now i'll copy this service account and i'll go to my data flow and i'll click on create job so here i will give as my sales iphone Europe. In optional parameter, I will specify my service account, which I created just now. Everything I will keep as it is. I will keeping the network and sub network as a blank, so it will take a default network. So this is the important. Here we have to select the big query, and the data set I will choose as a dev only because I want to create a table in the same data set, and the table I will choose as a sales underscore. Europe, and here I check. I'll mark this as a right if empty, and I'll uh, create a data flow job. <coughs> so one more thing. So if you are using uh, SQL workspace to create your data flow job, it will use a cloud data flow and. Were a data catalog API, so you need to enable the data catalog API and the data flow API as well. So we'll just let's go to jobs, and we'll see the job status. So this is our job sales hero currently is in queued status. We'll wait for a job to change its status. Okay, job is in running state now. it will trick almost 3 to 4 minute to get complete so we'll wait for job completion we'll go inside the jobs to see the task status and the log so here uh, you could see the task status run sql query is succeeded and also the second task status is also completed so job should get complete now we'll wait for job status to update we'll refresh okay meanwhile we'll check if it created any table in big query which we are looking for i'll just reload the big query so here currently only one table called sales we are expecting one more table to be created called sales underscore europe we'll reload that
here okay so this table is created sales underscore europe we'll see if it contains only europe's data as we given in the query and i'll just mark it as a star and i'll run this query okay now here you could see it contains only the data for europe and let's see if the job is completed by now so job is taking time to update its status but we could see the job tasks are completed and tables are created in bigquery so in this way we can use a data flow to create a tables or to make any SQL operations which are repetitive and we can create a data pipeline using a data flow job using SQL queries we'll see the job status now and we could see the job is completed now 